here we have our ON 2012 feeder stacker machine. First, we'll want to make sure the area is safe and clear before operation. Okay, so we'll start with turning on our main power source on our electrical panel. Since the feeder is usually the first machine on the line, you'll want to make sure your main machine's on and then turn the feeder on. After the HMI is booted up, it's waiting for the start, which means you want to hit the start button. And then we'll have to go to the light curtain and reset it. Our reset button is located at our loading area on the control box. So on our loading side control panel, we have our request access, reset, and just like on the Maytag, we have the pause resume and an emergency stop. Now with the loading gate reset, we're waiting for it okay for the machine to home. So here we have our quantity of doors. We can rotate all, rotate alternatively, or we can enter in a number. For example, if we had three left hands, seven right hands. So here we have our pause machine button, if you didn't want to use the physical button. Cancel operation, wide door mode, which will offset the grabber, and park gantry, which will bring it over and park it on the table. But after that's um, disabled, you'll want to go back and reset your curtain. Here we have our start sequence, which will begin the cycle. Pause and resume, and our emergency stop in case anything were to happen. So if we hit park gantry, notice that the pause, resume, lift light is illuminated. You will actually have to physically go and reset at your load gate, and then come back and it'll be good. So here we have our manual mode. Notice there's a feeder and gantry. You have to individually pick which one you want. So in this case, we'll go to the feeder table, manual mode, cross feed. We also have forward and reverse on the rollers. Now we'll manually operate our gantry. We'll want to hit the manual mode. We can unclamp and clamp. And we can also move the gantry up and down. And we can also bring it towards or away from us with these. And it's also got rotate. All right, so let's go into our calibration screen. So here we have clamp time. That'll be when the gantry hits the door, however long you want it to wait to clamp up. Door separation time, meaning when it's clamped up, how long it will pause just in case there's a suction between both doors. We have our door stack calibration. So here we have our location for a standard door to pick up, wide door to pick up, and we also have a shift all which will add this number into both columns. Our table calibration, we have our non-rotate standard, rotate standard, non-rotate wide and rotate wide. And if we hit this one, put in a number, 
it'll add it to the non-rotated side and same thing on the rotated side. And here we have our feeder table height. So you would adjust that depending on if your door was being smashed, which you would want to increase the number up, or if it was dropping the door onto the table, then you would decrease the number. And in order to make an adjustment, you can combine a positive number or you can make it a negative number and it won't combine with your base unless this button is clicked. When you're ready to load doors, you'll want to hit the request access button. It'll bring your gantry over and down so it's in a safe position and this green light will illuminate when the gate is unlocked and ready to open. After you have your door sack in, you'll want to close your gate, release your request access, and also hit your reset. When you're ready to enter in your number of doors, you'll want to just put in the quantity and hit start. So one trick with this machine, if you leave it in zero and hit start sequence, you won't have to count the doors in your stack, it'll actually pick them all up individually until the stack is gone. I would only recommend it if you have all left hand or right hand doors, or also if you wanted to alternate. If you wanted to do seven left hands, three right hands, I would recommend the rotate cube. All right, so we're going to alternate every other door. Um, for testing purposes, we're going to just do two. When you're ready to perform maintenance or shut down at the end of the day, you want to put the machine into a safe position. You do this by parking the gantry. To turn off the machine, you'll want to hit stop and control circuit off. And then we'll shut down the main power source. 